Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. We are all here. Everybody is here. Is it almost the afternoon? It is. Shh. We didn't them, nearly stay actually, in bed till. Don't, don't actually tell them what the, either of these times are recorded at. They it's, need to believe that it's the it's morning. It's quarter to twelve and we've all just got up. What, when did you get up? Well done. You've been up a while, have you? It's a while at eleven. Okay, yeah. Well, we got up at 11. We got up at 11. Oh, then 10 something. Okay. So, yeah, we're all just thinking out of our pit. But I'm suffering for my laziness because my back really hurts, so I should not have stayed in bed. It's agony. Um, we, well, uh, we're going to go and watch the tractors. Well, some of us are going to go and watch the tractors um, go past. We've got the tractor rally, Christmas tractor rally. I think there's about 300 tractors due to come past the house in the next hour. So um, that'll be my Christmassy theme for my Vlogmas today. I will put some music to it and show you all the tractors. But for now, I'm going to drink my tea and hang out with my family. Are you out and about again, Toothless? Nice to see you uh, being part of the family again. Feeling better? Playing your game again, Kenzie Bear? Yeah. It's very much like Zelda.
I've been stood in the cold for an hour and a half. My fingers are numb and actually there are sections of my feet that I can't feel anymore, which makes it very hard to walk. Um, my back is killing me, so I'm gonna go and get in the bath, but I'm gonna make a cup of tea and take that up with me and just go and soak and see if I can ease this pain a bit. Yes, and edit this tractor video. What's in the stocking? What's in the stocking? What's in the stocking today? So, we had napkin holder by Immo. No. We had a table runner or napkins was Bluebell's Bluebell Creations thought. No. Rosie Grimm said said a straw. No. Birdnest 58 said a floating candle and you were very very close. Thrifty Grandma and Julie Pearson both got it right when they said was it, the, was it the, ca the candle from my thing that I made? Or was it the candle from the thing you made? I was wondering what it was. It was the candle from the thing you made, from your centrepiece. I stole it and put it in the stocking. You've been wondering where it's gone? I looked down to <laughs> I put it in the stocking. That was what was in the stocking today. I'm going to go and put it back in his beautiful centrepiece that he made and find something else to go in the stocking. And I'm going to go and get the Yule calendar. Hold on. What's in the stocking? What's in the stocking? What's in the stocking today? It's stuck up here. It got wedged. Put your guesses in the comments. Time for today's Yule calendar. It is the 20th. The 20th. It means we've only got five more days till Christmas. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, what I what I meant to, which I hadn't realised till Imo said, and then I was like, of course that is. This here is the Marie Clouet, Clouet, I could, I'm going to say it wrong. Brendan loves this. He thinks this is hilarious. And this is why I should have known what that was. This is a Welsh tradition where a horse head on a stick, go figure, goes knocking on people's doors, obviously by person. It doesn't do it itself. That would be freaky. And it, they knock on the door and then the person carrying it has to sing and say why they think they should be allowed in the house. And the person who opens the door has to sing why they're not allowed in the house. And whoever wins the sing-off as to whether they're coming in or whether they're not coming in gets to eat all the food, or gets to have all the food. Now, I may have paraphrased that and, you know, missed out vital parts, but that's the general gist of it. And it's something that Brendan found out several years ago and thought was brilliant and has um, talked about several times since. So that's what the horse head was on yesterday's door. Today is just a horse. There you go, look. Just a normal, non-freaky, non-singing, non-scully horse. Just a, just a horse. It says, it was traditional that mistletoe gathered for Yuletide was kept the whole year and only burnt when its replacement was in place. Did it not like go all dried and manky and fall apart and become just like a stick before the year was out? I would have thought it would. I would imagine it just, all the leaves would fall off. Oh, excuse me. And you'd just be left with a stick. I don't know. Mine will not be staying for the whole year. It will not. Anyway, that was the your calendar. Now, I'm going to say my goodbyes. I just have to show you my top again because I'm loving it. Loving it. My lovely new top. For Firefly, Firefly fans. It's awesome. I love it. Um... What was I going to say? I'm going to say goodbye. That's what I'm going to do. It's it's getting late into the day and I've just done my live stream. So thank you very much for those of you that came along and joined in with the fun. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just have some food and chillax for the rest of the evening before work starts tomorrow because next week is going to be busy. I'm working Monday and Tuesday all day. Um, I have the new baby coming for a settling in session tomorrow. I think that's going to go fine. He seems quite chilled. I have also got to go and do the food shop tomorrow night and then drop some bits off at my parents for their last of their Christmas food shopping. We're having haircuts on Tuesday. Thank goodness, thank goodness my hairdresser can still come because Kenzie's hair, as you can see, is getting wilder and wilder and wilder and he really needs a haircut. I mean, mine I could probably get away with, but Kenzie, bless him, goes bouffant. Uh, and then there is singing on the green, Christmas carols on the green on Socially distanced, socially distanced, of course, on Wednesday evening. 
so I'll be doing that. And then it's Thursday and that's Christmas Eve. So yeah, the week is gonna go very, very quickly and then Christmas will be here in no time. But um, yes, we're pretty much ready, I think. I think we're pretty much good to go. What we don't have now, well, apart from the food tomorrow, I'm really hoping we've not left it too late because we do not have a single piece of our actual Christmas meal. All we have is sweets and chocolate and biscuits and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling, I'm gonna stop. Thank you very much for watching, you lovely lot, and I will see you all tomorrow.